Yo, what's up, Giordano family? Welcome back to my channel. And so, yeah. So, hey guys, welcome back to another video, guys. And guys, today's video, um, I'm gonna be, well, first of all, well, first I want to tell you guys, look at that. It's pitch dark out there. Can you believe that? Complete pitch dark. Like, it's pitch black. And guys, you guys know, Duty. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna bite me. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, he's biting me. <sighs> I guess I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop recording, man. He's not gonna quit. Sergi, stop! I guess I gotta stop recording until he comes. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll see you guys in just a second. Ah, no, Sergi! Sergi, stop! <laughs> Alright, guys, I think I got, I think I got him calmed down. Alright guys, so welcome back to another video, guys, today's video. So I'm gonna so remember week one and week two I pred, I was predicting every week by week. Well this video I'm gonna be predicting the standings. Oh well. So put that away. <clears throat> you guys I'm gonna be predicting every standing. <clears throat> so let's get into it. So so for the NFC North, guys, for the season. So, I'm going to start with the Lions. Oh, I'm going to start with the Lions. So, for the Lions. So, you know you got Jared Goff. You got St. Brown. You got... um, Who's that other guy? Um, You got Marvin Jones Jr. He's back. You got Jack Campbell. You got Jamison Williams. But you guys know he's been for six games. But it doesn't really matter. But... For me, and a lot of people have been saying this, you guys know, you know, I'm a Lions fan. But sorry, guys, I'm not wearing a Lions jersey right now. Yeah, but if you guys already know, like, a lot of people have been saying that the Lions are going to win the division this year. And I think so, too. They're going to they're gonna come out on top at the number one seed. They're going to win the division in the past. They have not won the division since 1986. Can you guys believe that? Yeah. So, for this one, for the Vikings... So you know you know you got Kirk Cousins. He's a good quarterback. Um you guys know the you know you guys know Vikings they won the division last year. Um you know, we have oops sorry guys, I'm trying to get comfortable on this on the couch. Hold on. Hold on guys. Okay guys, yeah, yeah. So um yeah, so for Kirk Cousins, um he's a good quarterback. Um he knows what he's doing. But for me, I I, I just don't see it that the Vikings are gonna get the division because I just don't see him they're gonna clinch it because Kirk Cousins. He, we all know he's a good quarterback. I just don't. I just don't see it. But you guys, I know they won the division last year, so you know. So let's talk about the Bears. The Bears. You got Justin Fields. He, you guys already know he has his arm. He uses his legs. He uses every muscle in his body to like get out of that pocket, run, and throw that ball to a to a wide open man. You guys already know David Montgomery. You know where he is. You guys already heard he assigned a. Three year deal. He signed a three year, a three year deal to the Lions. I'm presuming. I, we obviously know he's at the Lions, but I think he signed a three year deal. I'm not sure. But without Dan Montgomery, with Justin Fields on his back, uh, I just don't see the Bears winning. I just don't. I don't. I just don't see. I just don't see Bears having that good of a record. That's why I got Bears at number three. So let's talk about the Packers. So Packers, you got. So you guys, I know Aaron Rodgers. He's already gone. Um, he got traded to the Jets, um, you know, so you know, he's going to, you guys already know who's the new quarterback. Um, you got Joe Love. Um, yeah. So, and also, you know, Devontae Adams, he's been gone for a whole year. You know, he's been gone for two years without the Packers, but for, for Joe and Love, if you guys already know the, um, when their first preseason game was by, uh, they beat the, they beat the Bengals 36, 19, um, I was actually surprised at that point because I said, eh, it's Joe and Love, it's preseason, so I eh, don't it won't it doesn't bother me in the it doesn't bother me. It's just a preseason. We'll find out in the regular season. Hold on guys. Alright guys, I'm back. So as I was saying, yeah. But for Joe and Love, um he has two good players. You guys know he has he has Aaron Jones, the running back, and he's got Christian Watson. You guys I know with Aaron Rodgers on the first week one when he threw a dart to Christian Watson, can you believe that drop? So I don't feel that confident with um it's Christian Watson, so um, yeah, but that's why I got the Packers in number four seed this year because with Aaron Rodgers gone, it it's downhill. So let's talk about the NFC South. So first, let's start with number one seed, uh, Atlanta Falcons. Um, 
I'm going to throw it out there. Um, and Matt Ryan, he's gone. Um, I, 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 actually, I, I actually don't know what the NFC South is going to look like. But I obviously do know this. I actually do know that Atlanta Falcons. We are. I, I, we obviously don't. I actually don't know who the quarterback is. But I obviously do know a lot of people have been saying uh, they're going to win. They're going to win. They're going to win the NFC South this season. So they're going to be the number one seed. And I said, all right. So maybe I'll pick it. But I have a gut feeling that's not going to happen. So yeah. So let's talk about the number two seed, the Saints. The, this is the this is the seed I'm like awkward about. So you got Atlanta Falcons. You got. Let's see who else you got. You got New Orleans Saints. These two court. I feel like these two are gonna be battling it out for the top spot. And you know, you know what, you know what? Whoever gets that top seed, the Atlanta Falcons or the Saints, it's gonna be good. If you guys, I know you. They got Derek Carr. They got Jamison Williams. You know, you know that the Saints are gonna go hard. They're not gonna get. They're not gonna give the Falcons an easy win. They're not gonna give the Falcons. An easy number one seed. They're gonna keep fighting and fighting until they get that number one seed. So that's why I got the Saints number two this seed. So it's yeah. So let's talk about the foul. Let's talk about Tampa. Let's talk about the Buccaneers. So you got Baker Mayfield's new quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady already gone. Um, yeah. So you got Baker. You got Baker Mayfield. You got Baker Mayfield. You got um. Who else you got? You got Mike Evans, and yeah. But if you got you guys already know that the oops sorry guys I'm moving everything. So you guys already know that the Ten Bay Buccaneers, they are not gonna make the playoffs. But I obviously do know this. Let's if you guys already know, if you guys are a Buccaneers fan, um what? I said Buccaneers. Good, do that. I need to take a shower anyway. So for the Buccaneers, if you guys are a Buccaneers fan, um I'm going to throw it out there. I want to be honest with you guys. You guys are not going to make the playoffs. So don't be mad at me. Let's just say this. You're not going to get to 500. But I'm going to say this, guys. You guys are going to go. You guys are going to end up in third place. And also, guys, you guys are going to end your note. You guys are going to end your season on a high note. You, I think you guys are going to go 7-10. and 10. You guys are going to win at least seven games. That's how I feel in your that's how I feel in this season. That's how I feel for the Tim Bay Buccaneers. So if you guys are a Buccaneers fan, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. So, yeah. So let's talk about the Panthers. So you know he's got Bryce Young as the top pick, the number one pick in the. Hold on, guys. I want to pause this thing. I want to pause my TV show. So let's talk about the Buc- Let's talk about the Panthers. So you got Bryce Young. He he was the number one pick in the NFL draft this season. And if you guys already saw the Jets and the Panthers, um, you guys already know. I, I thought the I picked the Panthers being the Jets because they lost on August third. They lost the Jets lost to the Browns 16 21. That's why I said, okay, maybe the Panthers could do it because the Bryce Young is the number one the number one pick. But he only had three he he was on the field three times. And if you guys already saw it, you saw the Jets blow them out 27 and nothing. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, guys. I could not believe what I was seeing. And I said, um, that might just change my whole plan. So that's why I got the Panthers in number four seed, because there's no way. That Bryce Young is going to make the playoffs this year at the number one pick. So let's talk about the NFC West. So you got 49ers. You got Park Purdy. You got Trey Lance. They obviously do not know who's going to be the quarterback. But you obviously do know this. You got Debo Samuel. Whoever's a 49ers fan, you know you got Debo Samuel. Trey Lance, Brock Purdy. Guys, leave a comment below. Who, who do you think is going to be the starting quarterback? Um, You know, but we don't know. But we obviously do know this. I, I have a feeling they're going to be the number one seed this year because I, I just feel I just feel that they're going to be the number one seed because they have better experience. They're going to go. They're going to. They're going to go above ten wins, and that's how they're going to get the number one seed. So let's talk about the Seahawks. So Seahawks. Um, this is. I'm going to throw it out there, guys. I'm just going to throw it out there. This prediction is exactly like last season. So for the Seahawks. Um. Um, they are gonna give it a good ride too. They're gonna they're gonna give it a good fight too. Um, maybe maybe I'm not I'm not too sure about this, but we do not know if they're gonna we're not sure if they're gonna get over ten wins. <clears throat> Hold on, guys, I'm hiccuping. Oh, okay, guys, I'm better. So um, yeah, guys, but um, for the Seahawks, I, I just don't think they're gonna get. I, I maybe maybe it'll shock us the world. Leave a comment below, guys, if you think the Seahawks are going to get 10 wins. I just don't see it. I just don't see the 
Seahawks getting 10 wins. There's no way. So, yeah, but I, I, we'll find out. I, we'll find out. We'll find out if they're going to make the playoffs or not. But I have, I have the Seahawks in the number two seed. So, for the Rams. <sighs> the Rams, you guys already know. You, they got Stafford. They got Cup. They got Donald. I mean, they're the best. But I'm going to throw it out there, guys. These, the Rams. <sighs> I mean, you guys already know. Jalen Ramsey, he's already off to the Dolphins. He got traded. Um. <sighs> Guys, I just don't see it. I think the I think the Rams are gonna probably win five to six games because you guys already know at least if Stafford, Cup, or Donald gets hurt, at least one of them, it's over. It's over. You guys already know that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, I think I'm right, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But I obviously do know this. If none of them get, if none, of, uh, oops, sorry guys, if none of them don't get hurt, oh, oops, sorry guys. They are going to move from number three. They're going to move from the three seed to number two seed because I have a feeling that if the Rams, if if Stafford, Cup, and Donald do not get hurt, they're going to move from number three seed to number two seed because I have a feeling that the Rams are going to edge out those Seahawks. And I guess what I'm going to throw out there. If the Rams get in that number two seed, they could be in the playoffs. I'm just throwing it out there. But maybe, maybe the Rams are going to move up to number one seed. So it's gonna be. So it's gonna come. I'm gonna throw out there. It's gonna come down to these three teams right there. It's gonna come down to 49ers, Seahawks, and Rams. One of these three teams are gonna. Maybe there'll be two spots. But we obviously know the number one seed is gonna get in the playoffs. We'll find out which one will it be. But for me, I got the 49ers in this one. So let's talk about the Cardinals. The Cardinals. So you got a lot of players are hurt. Like no one wants to. No one wants to be on the Cardinals team because they're gonna be sucking. They're gonna suck. If you guys already know, a former kicker, a former Lions player is on the Cardinals team. Uh, you guys know who? P -p -p Matt Prater. So, guys, if you guys already know Matt Prater, um, he is a good kicker. He he is the best, but not good as Justin Tucker. But I'm going to throw it out there, guys. Uh, Arizona Cardinals, they're just too good. They're just, they're just, like, they're not really that good, but I'm going to throw it out there. They're just trash, man. Like, they have nothing. I'm the. I, Cardinals fans, I'm throwing it out there, man. I don't give a crap what you guys call me. They are trash, man. They are going to win four games like they always do. They're going to go 4 and 13 because they have no chance. They have no chance against any of these teams. Maybe a few, but I just don't see it. So that's why I got the Cardinals in the four seed. All right, guys. So let's talk about the NFC East. So I'm going to throw it out there. So we, I got the number one seed. I, oh, oh, I got the number one seed. The um, Philadelphia Eagles. So, let me talk about it. We got Jalen Hurts. You got Jalen Hurts. You got Devontae Swift. Unfortunately, it was the Lions. Traded to the Eagles. Um, Yeah. Uh, it sucked. It sucked when he got traded. But he's, he's, with the better, he's with the better team. Maybe he can get his first win. We'll, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to throw it out there. Um, it, it's it's hard. But for me, I got for me, I just think that the Eagles are going to go 13-4 and four because... They're the number. One, I got them at the number one seed. They're gonna keep flying. They're just too good. They're just too good. Oops, sorry guys. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys. So for the next one. So for the next one, I got um, I got Cowboys. I got the Dallas Cowboys in this one because I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. You got Dallas Prescott. Unfortunately, guys, he broke his. You know what? So he he broke his thumb and he was out for maybe six weeks. I'm presuming like he was out until week. He was out. You know, he was out in week one, and he got back until week six or seven. I'm presuming. I was. I was presuming at that. But for this one, for for this one, um, I just have a feeling that the Cowboys are just gonna stay at second place because they're they're good, but but the Eagles they're just the best. They're just the best. They're gonna win that division, and yeah. So let's talk about thirty. The Giants. So you got Daniel Jones. You got Kenny Galladay. They're just too good. They're just too good. They, these they they're just too good. But for me, I just got the Giants going. I just got, I just got the Giants in, in number three seed because they have they have two of the good players. But for me, I just don't see. It. I just don't see it. They're gonna win. They're not gonna get enough wins to get to get that number one seed. So I got them as number three seed. So right here, so you got the Commanders, and I obviously do not know. I, so we got. I think it's Carson Wentz. I'm presuming. Um, I I think. He retired. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about Carson Wentz. I think he's a new quarterback. I'm not sure. But for the Commanders, I just don't see it. I mean, I like the new. I like the new name. 
Um, oh, and guys, I want to tell you guys something. Um, I got, <coughs> I, uh, I saw a guy post something about, post, um, post three things about, what would you like better? Do you like Washington Redskins, Washington football team, or the Commanders? So guys, leave a comment below which, 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 which logo would you like better? The Redskins, the football team, or the Commanders? Leave a comment below which one do you like about, about Washington? Yeah, but I just don't see the Washington going that far, so I got the Washington at number four seed. So let's move into the AFC. So you got the AFC North right here. The same prediction. Number one, the Bengals. And folks, you guys know Joe Bro. Um, he's still out. Um, uh, he hasn't gone to any preseason. Um, he hasn't gone to any um any pre uh any any camp any preseason. He's still working on that leg. But a lot of people say, is he going to be good for start of the season? Yeah. But for me, uh, for me, like they are gonna go to the number one seed, right? And I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. I have a feeling that they're gonna win the Super Bowl. The Bengals are gonna get that ring, and guess what? I'm gonna get my ring. I got, I already got two rings. I'm gonna show you guys at my birthday vlog that's coming on the 31st, or when my birthday presents get open. So, or I'll show you what I got my birthday presents because my, you know, my parents don't want to be recorded. But right now, I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. I got two rings. I got two rings. Yeah, so I got two rings. So I got two rings right now. I, you know about the Tampa Bay Buccaneer one. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the other one. It's a college one. It's a college football one. So I'm going to show you guys that on my birthday. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that on my birthday. Yeah, so let's talk about the Bengals. Yeah, so the Bengals, they got Joe Burrow. You got Jamar Chase. They're just too good. I mean, those two players, they're just good. So, but for me, for, I think week one and week two, they're going to lose because... Joe Burrow, he is he's gonna be a little rusty on his when when coming before coming back because he's just he just suffered that injury and yeah so yeah so I got the Bengals yeah I just I just don't have a feeling they're gonna go 0-2 maybe 0-3 I'm not sure but I just don't feel comfortable winning those first three weeks but actually no they are gonna make the playoffs once again and they're gonna get that number one seat now let's talk about the Ravens I told you guys before they finally locked up Lamar Jackson and they got Odell Beckham Jr. two of the best and but for me I just don't see it I just don't see the Ravens they're gonna give it a good fight but they're just they're just gonna take second place so we got the Phil so got the Steelers the Steelers they're a good team but like what I told you I'm making my video Mean, but hold, hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on, guys. So, yeah, guys, back where I was saying my mom wanted me. So, as I was saying, so we got the Steelers. I just don't see I just don't see the Steelers getting that good of a record. Maybe they're going to go 9. I have a feeling they're going to go 9-8, but I just don't see them making the playoffs again. So, I got the Steelers going. I got the Steelers number 3. So, we got the Browns. The Browns, I'm going to throw it out there. They are not that good of a team. They, 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 I think they're gonna go. I think they're gonna win five to six games this year. They're gonna be stuck at four seed once again. So let's talk about the AFC West. So you guys already know the Super Bowl champions, baby. You guys know who? Kansas City Chiefs. So we got the Kansas City Chiefs. You guys already know we got Patrick Mahomes, we got Travis Kelsey, two of the best. I'm telling you guys, he. Pat, I mean, a lot of people been telling this. I believe it. The, the NFL likes Patrick Mahomes way too much. That's why they won the Super Bowl last year, and they made it to the Super Bowl three times already. No, actually, wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think it was three times. I'm, pre, I'm assuming it was three times. I think they made. I, th I know two times. I, I know they made it two times in a row. I'm not sure if they made it three times. Like, they made it three times, but I'm not sure if they made it two times in a row or three times in a row. I can't remember. But for me, I just got the Kansas City Chiefs at number one seed. They're going to win 14 games, and they're going to get that playoff spot, and they're going to win the FC West once again. So next time we got the Chargers. Uh, I can't remember that quarterback's name. Look comment below. What was the quarterback's name for the Chargers? I'm going to throw it out there. With Patrick Mahomes at, with Patrick Mahomes at Kansas City, that's why they're gonna take number two seed because with Patrick Mahomes at the Kansas City Chiefs as as their starting quarterback, that's why they're gonna be stuck at number two seed until they get rid of Patrick Mahomes. Chargers are gonna be stuck at number two. Hold on, guys. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the Raiders. So we got Jimmy Garoppolo. We got Jimmy Garoppolo, which a lot of people have been telling that he sucks. He's trash. I'm going to throw it out there. He's not really that trash, but 
A lot of people, I'm gonna throw it out there. He he was trash in the Super Bowl against Patrick Mahomes. Remember they remember recap recap to that recap to that Super Bowl twenty to thirty four, or twenty to thirty one. I lost my ring. Unbelievable. Like I like I always make a Super Bowl, but I never win a ring. So for me, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's not a bad quarterback, but he sucks at being in the Super Bowl. I'm gonna throw it out there. But I'm gonna throw it out there. Um. I don't really know. I don't, I don't know, guys. I actually do not know with Jimmy Garoppolo and Devontae Adams, those two good players. I just don't. I just don't see. I just don't see with Jimmy Garoppolo and Devontae Adams being together. Like they do be together, but I just don't see them getting that number one seed. They're gonna be stuck at number three for me. So number four, we got Broncos. We got Russell Wilson, of course. We obviously know it's just like Stafford. He was he was with the Lions. He's he was he was in Detroit for twelve years. He is a good quarterback. He was he was the drafted number one pick. I'm not. I wasn't sure. I don't know who. I don't know where Russell Wilson got drafted in the NFL draft. But I do know. In two, remember in 2009 that Matthew Stafford got drafted at number one. I'm not sure who got. I'm not sure what Russell Wilson got drafted. Like I said, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Russell Wilson. He's a good quarterback, but he does not have a good team. That's why they're gonna be stuck at number four seed for a while. So let's talk about. Oh wait, wait, is this it? Wait, oh no, we have one more. Okay. So let's talk about the AFC South. So we got Jacksonville Jaguars. We got Trevor Lawrence. So and also, guys, I know Marvin Jones Jr. He's first he left Jacksonville. I'm gonna throw it out there. Trevor Lawrence doesn't need him. He's a good quarterback. He got drafted out of Clemson back in 2021. He got he was the first round pick. I'm gonna throw it out there. He is the Jacksonville Jaguars. They remember back in 2021, the Titans were in number one seed. But remember 2022. Jacksonville Jaguars stunned the Titans. So that's why I have a feeling the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to stay at number one seat. The Titans. I'm going to throw it out there again. It. I'm going to throw it out there again. They're going to stay at number two seat. I'm going to throw it out there. If it happens again, if it happens, I'm going to throw it out there. For me, I got the Jacksonville Jaguars number one. The Titans at number two. I'm going to throw it out there. With these two teams, With I'm going to try to put my finger at it. With these two teams, if they face off at week 18 once again to get the playoff spot, you know, winner winner of this game, Titans or Jacksonville, if this happens again this season, I'm going to throw it out there, Jacksonville's going to win if that happens because Jacksonville Jaguars, because you always know, whoever won that game goes to the playoffs. And you guys already know, Jacksonville Jaguars got the playoff spot. They won. They were fighting. Titans, I just don't, oops, sorry. Titans, I just don't see it, guys. They're going to be stuck at number two seed for a while. Until they get until they get their act back together, because Trevor Lawrence at Jacksonville Jaguars, he's gonna he's gonna have a good season. So let's talk about the Houston Texans. And if, and if you guys and guys are and guys are saying to me, hmm, why are they not at number four seed? Well, I'm gonna throw it out there with C.J. Stroud, number two pick this of this year out of Ohio State. I'm gonna throw it out there. He start he he start he was starting the quarterback of the preseason. You guys already know they beat the Patriots twenty to nine. Can you believe that, guys? And I had the Patriots winning that game. Uh, I couldn't believe I I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But I'm just gonna throw it out there, guys. But C.J. Stroud, I just don't see it. Uh, his I mean it's his rookie year. Um, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna throw it all on the line in his rookie year. But for me, I just don't see it this year. Getting a good record because, like, he's gonna get a good record, but I just don't see him making the playoffs in his rookie season because I don't think he has what it takes. So, let's talk about the Colts. Let's talk about the Colts. Um, I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. Um, with Matt Ryan gone, with with Carson Wentz gone, you guys, I know Matt Ryan, he's still waiting to see which, 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 um, which, um, which NFL team to, to pick him up. I'm gonna throw it out there. The Colts, the Colts should have kept him because because he gave he gave Colts a little he gave Colts a four game win streak. But I'm telling you, if Matt Ryan played another year, which until he didn't retire, I'm gonna throw it out there. With Matt Ryan, if Matt Ryan was at the Indianapolis Colts, was still with them, he could have gave him to a five game to a six game win this year. But you guys, I know with 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 Matt Ryan still waiting to see if someone picks him up because no one wants to pick him up. I'm gonna throw it out there. Without Matt Ryan on the Indianapolis Colts, Colts are going downhill. They're gonna give. I want to give them a good thumbs down. They are gonna go bye bye. So I have a feeling they're gonna win four to three games. I think if I take a choice, I think the Colts are gonna get the number one pick in the 2024 NFL Draft this season. So that's why for me, I got the Colts in number four seed this year. <laughs> so so the final game. So we got the AFC East. 
So we got the Bills, Jets, Patriots, Dolphins. If you guys already know, I'm gonna. You guys already know. You guys say anything different about this? I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna let you guys see these four teams. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna let you guys know. For me, I'm gonna let you guys know. For me, let me guys. Let me know, guys. What's different? I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you guys get ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. You know, it's anything different. Okay, guys. Yeah. So let's talk about the number one seed. So we got Josh Allen. We got Stefan Diggs. Unfortunately, guys, guess who I saw? In, if you guys already know in the preseason, the first Buffalo. If you guys live in Buffalo, New York, um, you guys are good Bills fans. If you guys already know who is back. Damar Hamlin. I'm going to throw it out there, guys. If you guys don't know, Damar Hamlin, he is a fighter. He never gives up. He was fighting his life. Oh, my God. I'm just so happy that him and his family are back on track. He's not giving up football. He's a man. Uh, he He's a GOAT, man. He is the GOAT at this game. Hold on, guys. I'm going to move this. Okay. Yeah. You guys, but guys, I'm going to throw it out there. He is a GOAT. He is the fighter. Oh, my God. He's a fighter of a champion. But for me, with Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, these two players, these two players, they're too good, and that's why I got the Bills at number one seed. So guess what? Look, look who we're at next. The New York Jets. I'm gonna throw it out there. You guys, you guys already know who the quarterback is, Aaron Rodgers. So I'm gonna throw it out there with these two teams. You guys already know Week One, Monday Night Football. I'm gonna throw it out there, Aaron Rodgers. He's not gonna get the number one seed this year. Maybe next year. We don't know about that. But for this year, I got the Jets going in number two seed. We. It's just <laughs> Oops, so she heard caught up the stairs. But for the Jets, for for Aaron Rodgers, he is a good quarterback. Like he never gives up. I'm gonna throw it out there. I think the Jets are gonna go ten and seven, maybe eleven and six. With but I'm gonna throw it out there. I just don't see Aaron Rodgers matching with Jalot with Josh Allen. So I have a feeling the Jets are gonna go ten and seven or whatever. But I just have a feeling the Jets are gonna be going in number two seed this year. So let's talk about the Panthers. We got Patriots, we got Mac Jones. Without Tom Brady, they are done. They are done. So yeah. So with so for so for so for for, for ugh, sorry guys, I'm sorry. So for Mac Jones, uh, I'm gonna throw it out there. I think they're gonna go eight and nine this season. That's what I figured. I feel like they're gonna go eight and nine because Mac Jones. I just don't see it this year. I just don't see it with Aaron Rodgers in the AFC East. I just don't see it for Mac Jones, and he's gonna he's gonna have a hard time against Aaron Rodgers those two seasons with him, those two seasons against him. Yeah, I think I, I think Mac Jones is gonna have a hard time with matching up with Aaron Rodgers. So I've been feeling them. So that's why I got the Patriots at third seed. Now let's talk about the Dolphins. Let's talk about Iola. again. Again, I'm gonna say this before with Josh Allen, with Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, Mac Jones. Talk about Iola. He he almost he had a big lead over Aaron Rodgers when he was in Packer when he was when he when he was in Green Bay he had a big lead and then boom he coughed it all up that's why Tucker Bailoa is gonna have a hard time against Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen and Mac Jones because I just don't see it they're gonna have a hard time and they're gonna keep losing I bet you they're gonna if it if it's possible I think they're gonna take two seasons I think gonna I think I think they're gonna take two games away from the Patriots I know one for sure. But with with Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen, they're gonna get swept two times. So I have a feeling that the Dolphins are gonna be at number four seed for me because Josh Allen and Aaron Rodgers, they're gonna sweep the Dolphins two times. But let's just say this. Let's say Dolphins fans, you at least you get one win over the Patriots. Now let's talk about this. Now let's look at, before we end this video. Um before we end this video, guys, I just want to tell you guys, let's see who's going to be in the playoffs, in my prediction. So, guys, I know. So, for the, for the, for the, we know you got seven seeds here. So, here we go. I'm going to throw it out there. So, for the, for, so, for the MC North, I got the Lions and I got the Vikings. These two teams are making the playoffs this season. So, for me, I got the Falcons and the, no, actually, mmm. I think I got the Falcons. I think I just got the Falcons in this one because, and eh, you know, that I think the Falcons just have a better advantage. But I think the Saints, well, mm, I don't know. Like, this is the one I'm still stuck on. Like, Falcons, Saints, Falcons, Saints. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take both of them. So I think Falcons and Saints. I think the, both of these teams are making the playoffs. I know one of them maybe for sure. 
But I just have a feeling both of them are going to make the playoffs. I know one of them is going to make it for sure, but we don't know who. So for me, I just got the Falcons and the Saints winning. I got the Falcons and the Saints both making the playoffs. So we got four. So we got the NFC. So we got the NFC West. Um, I got the 49ers in this one. Seattle. Um, th- they're not making the playoffs this season. Rams not. Cardinals not. So I got the 49ers in this one. And for this one, for the for the wrap it up, I got the Eagles and Cowboys. I got these final two teams in the in the playoffs. I got these two final teams. So if we could match it all up again, so we got Lions, Vikings, Falcons, Saints, 49ers, Eagles, Cowboys. So that's seven teams. And for the bye week, if I and for the bye week, um, I'm gonna throw it out there. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be Eagles number one. Oops, sorry, I guess we'll pull on. Ah, uh, hold, on, hold on, guys. I'm, I'm moving my hand again. Hold on, because I'm because you know my hands are burning here. Okay, we have, so we got I got Eagles number one, I got Forty Nineers number two, Lions number three, Falcons number four, Vikings number five, Saints number six. Wait, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on, I'm switching it. Hold on, I'm switching it. So, obviously, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold, hold on, guys, I'm starting. Hold on, guys. Eagles are going to be number one. Four hours are going to be number two. Oh, my God. Lions are going to be number three. Falcons are going to be number four. Now, let's find out the, the top three seeds. Now, let's find out the, the wild card teams. So, for the first one... So for the first one, I have got I got Vikings at number five, Cowboys number six, and Saints getting that last spot in the wild card spot. So it's about the AFC. No, so it's about the AFC. So for me, I got Bengals. I got Ravens. Two of two of the best. For for, for the AFC, oh, that was the AFC North. Let's talk about the AFC West. I got Chiefs. I got Chargers because they're just too good. So for this one, I got Jacksonville. I got Jacksonville in this one. And so for this one, um, I got Bills and I got Jets. So let's talk about this. Hold on. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. We're good. We're good. So, guys. Um. So, as you guys saw, I got these two teams in the playoffs. The those two teams. That Jacksonville. I got those two teams in the playoffs. So let's so let's talk about who's gonna be get who's gonna get the number one seed. I told you guys before. Let's talk about it. Super Bowl champs, baby. They're gonna get the number one seed this season. Second will be again. Second will be Bills. Third Bengals, fourth Jacksonville. Now let's find out who gets the wild card spot. And for me, uh, for for me, ah, dang, this is gonna be hard for me. Um, for me, I think I got the Jets number five, Jets number five, and Ravens number six, and Chargers number seven. So yeah. So, yeah, guys, so that's how I got my division. That's how I got my predictions of the 2023-2024 division in this in the NFL this season. So I got Lions number one, all that stupid stuff. So this is my NFL, this is my NFL standing this season. So, yeah, guys, so, yeah, so let me, let me know in the comments if I did a good prediction of the NFC standing this year. Tell me if it's bad. Tell me if it's good. Uh, tell me what I should change. Like, leave, let me know. Let me know. Let me know what I did wrong. Let me know how I did. So, just leave a comment below. Okay, that's all you guys gotta do. Just hit the comment and just type what I need to do more. Yeah. So, uh, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I need to show you sushi. Before I end the video, I got you guys gotta be see little. You guys gotta see sushi. Yeah, you guys gotta see sushi. Hey, mom, do you know where sushi is? With sushi. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna pause the video until I find them. Say bye, sushi. Yeah. There you guys go. So there you guys. That's sushi. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace.